Hello everyone, my name is Randy Liu. I'm the master brewer of Coppel Craft Beer 1602. We actually conceptualized the brand four years ago. We were uh, going through some study. We observed the market and also the consumer trends. As far as the consumer interest, of course, going through a lot of challenges and also uh, every other thing set up a brewery in Malaysia. Uh, were involved in. Only this year, we finally got our door open to launch uh, this brand. So all in all, from having the idea of launching a brewery to eventually start the brewing is about four years time. The process of brewing crown beers basically has no big difference comparing to bring a large-scale commercial beers. In fact, we actually running a few process less comparing to the large-scale commercial beers. What we did not do is pasteurization and also the filtration. We're trying to stick close to how beers are brewed and from being brewed to being served which is without pasteurization, without filtration. So everything that we use to brew in the beers will remain in the glass to the very ends that when a consumer having the first sip. There's a reason why a lot of people have this misconception of why is craft beer selling more expensive whereby no one have ever heard of craft beers or no one have ever heard of your brands comparing to those commercial big brands. And yet the craft beer usually are selling a lot more expensive than the uh, commercial beers. The reason being is the quality itself is good, not because of the master brewer, better than the commercial beers, not at all. Simply put is our approach is different. We are going after a very small scale and very selective consumers market. For craft beer in general, for all of the craft beers, we stay true to the craftsmanship, which has less human's intervention possible. Of course, in a, nowadays, everything still pretty much depends on the technology. It's just that we, we try not to manipulate the beer making process that much. We put in our hard work in terms of writing recipe, selecting ingredients and all that. End of the day, we have these sayings in our brewing world. We as the brewer, we don't really make beer. The yeast make the beer. We are simply the slave for the yeast, you know, we prepare the house for the yeast populations to grow, which is our fermentation tank. We're preparing the food for the yeast and then we create the hygiene environment for the yeast to remain active throughout the entire fermentation process. So you can see in the whole process, we actually are serving yeast and then whatever the beer comes out pretty much it depends on how well we take care of the yeast then hopefully the yeast will take care of us producing good beer and the consumer will having a good beer to drink some were asked that why Coppel craft beer 1602 why not 1884 or 1980s the reason being is the first volume maps being drawn is actually from 1602 by a Netherlands explorer. That is the reason why out of so many numbers that we picked the years of 1602. Because our brewery is established in Sarawak, Kuching. So we pick something that is identical and also represent where we are from and who we are. Therefore, we choose the number of 1602. We strive to have a few identical beer style which is each one of the style would not be close to each others. As a start, we have a lagers, a pale ale, which is very easy to drink, very casual. And we have a dark beer. It tastes a little bit like coffee, chocolate notes. We do not use any coffee or any chocolate, yet it developed that taste simply by selecting different kind of malts. And last, we have wheat beer. Very typical German style of wheat beer. In fact, we did not make much uh, modifications. It's because the beer style itself, in my opinion, suit Asian palettes quite well. It's very fruity, a little bit sweetness. I hope people know more about craft beers. We are not arrogant enough to say that we are the best. We definitely are not there yet to claim that everyone would like our beer or should like our beer. But what we're trying to do is simply 
introducing craft beers to a very young market. Me, myself, as a Malaysian, uh, has been in the brewing industry for more than 20 years. So it's more like my personal agendas to make Malaysian proud in this craft brewing world. Thank you.